So here then is an illustration of what's happening in the plasma membrane of prokaryotes. Yeah. We have electrons, NADH, taking electrons from food or other electron sources. They're delivering electrons to the uh, electron transport chain. So here is our electron transport chain in the membrane. The electrons are going through a series of redox reactions. And here, this is aerobically respiring bacteria. Um, we have oxygen serving as a terminal electron acceptor, and oxygen is reduced to water. In the process, components of the electron transport chain are actively pumping protons against a gradient. So this is active transport of protons across the membrane. They're using redox energy to um, transport protons and generating a proton gradient and proton motive force. So what's the purpose of this proton motive force? The protons return to the other side. They're driven by proton motive force through a protein complex in the membrane called the ATP synthase. In this diagram, it's called an ATPase, and that's because ATP synthase can work backwards to actually hydrolyze ATP and pump protons in the other direction. But protons going back down their concentration gradient through ATP synthase, that releases free energy, and that energy is used by ATP synthase to actually uh, phosphorylate ADP to make ATP. A similar reaction occurs in our mitochondrial inner membranes. And so this is the outer membrane here, but it, this is the inner membrane. So if you recall the structure of a mitochondrion, um, there is four times as much surface area for of the inner membrane because the inner membrane is convoluted. And the reason the inner membrane is convoluted is to have room for all of these electron transport chains. So again, what happens in the mitochondrial matrix, this is the innermost compartment of the mitochondria, is that NADH is taking electrons from food are going through NADH to the electron transport chain. The electron transport chain undergoes a series of redox reactions that transfer electrons from one component to another, and finally to oxygen as the terminal electron acceptor again. Oxygen is reduced to make water. In the process, these three components of the electron transport chain are pumping protons from the matrix to the intermembrane space. So the intermembrane space has a low pH. And the inner matrix has a high pH. So we have a pH difference across the membrane. We have the electron, we have a proton motive force. Okay. These protons are essentially then driven through ATP synthase. So this ATP synthase is essentially universal. All cells, whether we're talking bacteria, archaea, or eukaryotic cells, make most of their ATP through a very similar ATP synthase complex, which is a membrane protein that uses proton motor force to phosphorylate ADP to make ATP. And this is a picture of the marvelous ATP synthase. There is a part of the protein that sits in the inner mitochondrial membrane of mitochondria, or the plasma membranes of bacteria. And then there is another subunit. Okay. This is the part that actually makes ATP. And the F0 is a molecular turbine. It's a motor okay, that's driven by the proton motive force.